Yo, what's up? Thanks a lot for watching my videos and helping my channel to grow. In today's video, I'll be reviewing 9PM from FNAN. And many people know that this is a clone for John Paul Galtrier Ultra Mid. But in this video, I'll not be comparing them because I'll create another video that I will compare John Paul Galtrier Ultra Mid with 9PM. So it will be an, another video. But in this video, I'll be reviewing 9PM from FNAN. And please, before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. So this is the fragrance, as you can see. I've been using it for almost one year. Yeah, exactly one year. So I used it in the summer, in the spring, in the winter, and I draw a conclusion about this fragrance. So basically, don't try it in the summer, especially if it's very hot, because it's, this fragrance is very sweet. It smells like a bubble gum. So in the summer, it will be annoying, especially after the dry down, because the tonka bean and the sweetness and the vanilla will not be good in the summer. Like, it will smell some, like bad. It might cause you a headache or something. It will be very sweet for the summer. So basically, this is a winter fragrance. And I don't know why they call, them, call it uh, 9 p.m. Because you can use it in the morning. It's not like a night uh, time fragrance. You can use it all the time. And it's good for winter, yeah. But it's not, it's not exclusive for uh, in the nights. It can be used in the morning, in the night, all the time. But yeah, I, I will advise you to use it in the sp spring or in the winter. Like in a cold season's weather, I don't advise you to use it in the summer. So this is the fragrance as you can see. Now it's almost empty. Nothing special. It doesn't look like a sweet fragrance. It looks like a dark fragrance. I don't know why this bottle looks like that. And I don't know why they call it 9pm. So it's weird. The name is really weird. Even the box. To be honest, I blindly bought this fragrance and I thought it's very woody, very heavy. I didn't know it's a sweet fragrance once I bought it. Like the box doesn't tell you anything. It shows you like it's very dark and weird fragrance. It doesn't show you like a sweet fragrance or something like that. So anyway, let's stay away from the box and the bottle. So I will tell you the notes now. So the top notes are apple, cinnamon, wild uh, lavender, bergamot, and the middle notes are orange blossom, lily of the valley, and the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and patchouli. So this is the fragrance. As you can see. Once you spray, you smell like a bubblegum scent. You smell uh, lavender and apple and bergamot and even cinnamon. It's a cocktail of sweetness. You yeah, the, the opening is very sweet, bubble gummy yeah. opening. And this fragrance, it dries down really fast. Like after 30 minutes, you'll start smelling uh, the tonka bean and the amber and the patchouli. That's why I don't advise you to use it in the summer. Because you will smell a lot of tonka bean and patchouli and amber. In the summer, it will be very heavy for you. But the opening is really nice. It smells like uh, Jean Paul Gatria Ultramare, but I don't want to compare it to, to, get to, to that fragrance. Anyway, this fragrance, um, it's not a beast mode fragrance. Like, don't expect um, a huge projection or a huge compliment. It got me a compliment before, but if someone's sitting beside me, and I used to, s to have a spray from this fragrance. So basically it projects like around one meter maximum, nothing more than that. So if someone's sitting beside you, he will give you compliments. They will give you compliments. Cause um, it smells really nice. It smells weird. It has like its, uh, its own scent. It smells like a um, bubble gum, it smells sweet, it smells weird for a man. And it's a, you can say party fragrance. It's not like, <laughs> it's not good for like, old people. Maybe this is like for teenagers or, or men in 20s. And also it's unisex, a woman can use this fragrance as well. So it will get you compliments because it smells nice and it smells um, totally different than other fragrances. This is, smells like a bubble gum. And it smells similar to Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Anyway, and the longevity will be like around five hours on the skin, nothing more than that. And the projection will be the first hour. And by the way, the price is very cheap. So the price is around $25. Mm, it's considered cheap to be honest, especially comparing to Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male and any other f like uh, expensive fragrances. So this considered is very cheap. And and yeah, once I bought it, the uh, the performance was bad, but after some time it became better. So I, 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 
So I advise you if you buy it, keep it for some time. Then start using it. So, so the longevity is around five hours on the skin. On the clothes, it will stick for days. The projection is around one meter, the first hour only. And the silage is weak, it doesn't give you a strong silage. So this fragrance doesn't have a good uh, performance, but it's very cheap. And I would advise you to buy it, to be honest, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on Jumbo Galtier Ultra Male and you want um, a clone or something for that, I would advise you to buy this fragrance. But it doesn't perform that well, to be honest. I will be honest with you, it doesn't perform that well. So this was my honest review for this fragrance. This is 9 p.m. It's good for winter, it's good for young people. So thanks a lot for watching, and if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments. Thanks a lot and have a good day, bye bye.